Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I want to be teaching you how to change your skin in Minecraft 1.16.4. This process is super, super easy, but I want to be showing you how to find skins as well, a ton of different skins. So this is going to be a great video for that. I'm just going to show you how to add multiple skins, easily switch between them. It's all going to be covered in this video. But first and foremost, we do have much more sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, thebreakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own Minecraft server. We actually love and trust Apex so much that so we have our own server, played our breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your very own server, you can check out Apex the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex. There's no other way to do it. Easy mod pack installation, easy server setup. It's absolutely incredible. Again, that's the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex. Nonetheless, you're here to get a skin, not talk about servers, so let's go ahead and jump on into it. The first thing we need to do is download a skin. So if you go to the second link down below, that's going to take you here, and this is where you can find tons of skins, not only in the top skins up here as well, but you can actually search right up here at the top for different skins. For example, if you wanted like a king skin, right, you know, all these different kings king sort of layouts. If you wanted a knight, you could do that. You could do anything you wanted to do when it comes to Minecraft skins. There are tons and tons and tons of different options. I actually happen to like this gray knight here, so we're going to click on that. Take us off here. You can actually preview the skin. Every single skin is like this. You can look at it right there and change the background on it, all sorts of stuff to see exactly what it's going to look like in different environments. And then once you've found the perfect skin, you can go ahead and download it. To do this, you want to come over here to the right-hand side, click on that download button, and then the download will begin in the bottom left. Now, that's really cool. That's how you can download, find your own skin, search for it, all that stuff using the second link down below. But the third link down below takes you here. And this is our in-depth guide on how to make a Minecraft skin of your very own. It's helped over 300,000 people create their own Minecraft skins and get things set up, make their own skin, add anything they want to their own skin. It's actually using the Skindex's website, but that's a very in-depth tutorial. As you can see, 11 minutes. We go over all the tools, all that stuff, so you'll be able to make a skin like this yourself. However, once you've got your skin down, it or you created your own skin using our video you can come back here we can minimize our browser here on the desktop is the skin file for me. For you, it may be in your downloads folder. To find that, click the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. Click on the little Windows icon on the top or bottom left of your screen. Type in downloads. Click on the downloads file folder in Windows here, and you'll find your skin in here. Drag it to your desktop. For me, it's the date that it currently is. Most likely, yours will be the same date or whatever, but it's going to be a weird-looking image. Like, if you open it up, it's not going to make any sense, right? Like, I mean, it's very, very small for one, and it's like a bunch of stuff disconnected. That's okay. Now, to add your skin, you want to open up the Minecraft launcher here right just the defi default minecraft launcher and then click on skins right so from the default minecraft launcher click on skins and then here you go you have all of your different skins so as you can see we can add this to library and i would always recommend doing that if you can so that's going to make a new skin over here for your current skin so as you can see this is going to be i don't know what that like prospector i don't know that's kind of what it looks like to me prospector skin so we can go ahead and do that. We can save it. And now you can choose other skins. So if you want to go to Steve over here, we can go ahead and click use. Boom. We've now switched to the Steve skin. To add a new skin and switch to a new skin, click on the plus new skin here. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name this the Knight skin. And then we can go ahead and choose whether you want the classic or slim. So basically Steve or Alex models there. And then you want to browse to find the skin file. So we can click on browse here. It's going to open up this file browser or right like so. What we then want to do is come over here and click on our desktop. And then on your desktop, you want to locate that PNG file that you downloaded. Right here it is for me. Go ahead and click on it and boom, the skin is now added. As you can see, it appears, it looks great. That is awesome. Now we can click save and use. And just like that, your skin is set up. You can add as many skins as you want in here, right? That's what's great about it. If I wanted to switch back to the prospector skin, I can do that. Back to the knight, I can do that. Switch to the default skin, I can do it all with just a few clicks. But we've got the knight skin selected now. So let's go over here, go back to play. I'm gonna go ahead and launch into Minecraft and show you the skin in game, just for kind of the final proof that this did work. But at this point, you know how to change your skin. That's that. I'll see you once Minecraft is open and we can get in game. All right, so here we are, we are loaded into Minecraft. We can jump into a multiplayer and of course, play breakdowncraft.com the best minecraft server in the multiverse we are currently in aquatic survival but the most important part about this is being able to switch around if i can hit the right button there we go and oh, gotta take my armor off and boom just like that you can see there it is beautiful night skin in the making if i wanted to switch that real quick i could do that but just going back to the minecraft launcher clicking on that skins button and this time instead of going to the night skin we use the prospector skin so just hover over it click that green use button back to play click the play button again quick jump cut 
back in game and I'll show you the deck skin switched. It's that easy. You can upload and add as many skins as you want, as I said. Super easy process. And that's how you can change the skin in 1.16.4. I'm going to show you that that skin did in fact change, and then we'll be finished with the video. All right, so now if we click on multiplayer, jump back into the best micro server in the world. Play it up right now, craft.com. Last plug, I promise, but come on. And we go ahead and hit F5. There we go. We are now back in the Prospector skin. Looking good, everyone. Thank you all so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you so, so much for watching. Come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com. Best micro server in the multiverse. Sorry, I had to get one more in there. But nevertheless, I am out. Peace.